An ominous start to the year for investors in Thailand as a political showdown heats up. Protesters plan to shut down the capital Bangkok next week in an attempt to sabotage elections due in early February. The Thai bot has slid to its lowest level since February 2010, and the stock market has lost more than 10 percent since early November, when Thailand's latest political crisis started. Political upheaval is nothing new in Thailand. Protests have popped up frequently in this Southeast Asian country, with divisions between the agrarian poor, the wealthy elite, and a growing middle class. Here's the outlook from two Thailand watchers. So we've seen this before. We've seen you know, Thailand being occupied by protesters for weeks and months on end. But the reality, the impact on uh, manufacturing is limited, even on tourism, despite the very visual uh, images that we see, uh, you know, the, the, the historical impact on tourist arrival, it's temporary and quite limited because what happened is tourists actually go off to somewhere else, like to Phuket or to, to Koh Samui. So the economic impact, I think, will still be relatively contained from that perspective. What could hurt, really, is on the investment side because the political uncertainty that's coming up with these protests, I think that will make both local companies and foreign companies just to wait a little bit more before they engage in another round of uh, investment. And of course, uh, with an election coming up, uh, again, governments may postpone any spending program until after the election when there's a bit more clarity. The lingering, as you say, political uncertainty we have in Thailand is something that uh, making, shall we say, foreign investors more cautious about investing in Thailand. Of course, domestically also maybe businesses a bit more hesitant about investing uh, at that point in time, consumers a bit more concerned. So, of course, in the short term, the implications of this is that it probably will put some damper on, on, uh, on growth in, in, in Thailand and hold back growth, if you will. To the extent uh, this political uncertainty recedes during the course of the year, of course, these uh, headwinds to growth will begin to ease off. I would also suspect, uh, you know, with, with across the global recovery that uh, we're looking at U.S. recovering this year, Europe gradually recovering as well, Thailand would also benefit from that. Thailand is a very export-driven uh, economy still, uh, so that will bring a lift to, to that side, both to uh, goods exports but also to services export, tourism, etc., we get a lift from from that. I mean, it all depends on how this this whole thing plays out. Uh, I mean, if if things escalate further, uh, then of course it it could pose downside risk to to the currencies and markets. You know, if it doesn't uh, deteriorate further from here and there are signs that we begin to get a resolution, then of course you can move the other way. It's very difficult to uh, read and 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 get a clear sense of where this could go. So let's see.